The Ahsoka panel on Saturday gave us some new information regarding the upcoming series, so here I'll be continuing my coverage of Star Wars Celebration with that panel. I'll be covering everything we learned from Star Wars Celebration this weekend, both with individual videos and an overall summary of everything later next week, so stay tuned for all of that. The big thing to come out of the panel was the official news that Lars Mikkelsen would be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn in live action. He previously voiced the character in animation, and I think he was the pick for many fans when it came to this character. It's always great to have the voice actor get to carry over into live action, because while the character will still visually look different, having the character sound the same helps to ease the transition. And Mikkelsen sounds absolutely perfect as Thrawn. He has the menacing, cold tone of voice that the character needs, and while I was already looking forward to seeing the character in live action, confirmation that he's returning to play Thrawn makes me so much more confident and comfortable with how it will turn out. Rebels was my first introduction to this character. I never read the old Legends novels with the villain, but I instantly loved the character, and he quickly became one of my favorite villains of all the Star Wars. We still have yet to get an official look at Mikkelsen as Thrawn, but at least from the photoshops done online in the past year or so, he has the facial structure and overall look I think to pull the character off in live action with the makeup. Those in attendance, however, did get to see an exclusive version of the Ahsoka teaser, and one that fully revealed Mickelson as the blue-skinned, red-eyed Chiss of Imperial. I've already heard that it contained clips of Pergil and Sabine wielding a green-bladed lightsaber, likely that of which belongs to Ezra Bridger. Filoni also spoke about how they have talked to, and will continue to talk to, Timothy Zahn regarding the portrayal of Thrawn. I'm glad that he's being consulted on this, because he is the one that created the character, and has fleshed him out so much, but it also brings something else into question. As many fans who have read both the novels and seen Rebels, know, Thrawn's character has been criticized at times, or at least questioned, for being portrayed in two distinct ways. In Rebels, he is much more of a villain, willing to kill Lothal's innocent citizens to draw Ezra Bridger out of hiding. However, in the novels, he's seen much more as a mix of both good and bad, where he will do whatever necessary for the benefit of the Chiss Ascendancy. He isn't a ruthless killer there, but a tactical and methodical planner who values life. So based on just the story being told, and more fans being familiar with the character from the animated series rather than the books, I assume the version of Thrawn we will get will be closer to that, but Zahn's involvement does make it an interesting point to think about. And then for other information, fans got a new look at Ray Stevenson as Balin Skull and Ivana Sakno as Shin Ahati as the villains of Ahsoka. David Tennant was confirmed to be playing Huang again in the series, and we will also learn more about Morgan Elsbeth's background throughout the show. Despite only appearing in the one episode of The Mandalorian, fans could feel the depth and history that she had as a character, so I'm looking forward to learning more about her and her connection to Thrawn. The first season will be comprised of eight episodes, and the directors for the series were revealed to be Dave Filoni, Steph Green, Peter Ramsey, Jennifer Getzinger, Gita Patel, and Rick Famuia, and it was also announced that Kevin Kiner will be returning to score the series. This makes me very excited for some of the new music that the show will have. Ahsoka's theme and every variant of it are easily my favorite themes in all of Star Wars, and Kiner, the one who initially created it for the Clone Wars, returning for this series means we'll probably get even more of it. Some more or less relevant information that we learned from the panel, Ahsoka's new mantras are synthetic skin over a 3D printed skeleton and the makeup takes less than two hours to apply now. Originally, it took three. Let me know how excited you are for this series in the comments below. Remember to like the video and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And check out all of my other coverage of Star Wars Celebration this weekend. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.